This video is meant to be a really snappy review of finding the nth term of what are called linear sequences. Now, these are called linear sequences because if you look at them, they go up by a fixed amount. In the first sequence, it goes up by 5, and that pattern will keep on going. The second one has a fixed difference, but it actually goes down by 4, so minus 4, minus 4, minus 4. And it's this constant number which shows us they are linear sequences. Now, there's a very, very easy way to find what's called the nth term, or the formula for the sequences, and it's as follows. And generally, an nth term is always of the form a n plus b, where a and b are two numbers linked to these sequences. Now, a is always this difference. So in the first one, it must be of the form 5n. And b is another unknown number. And all you do to find the b is you think, right, I've got a 5 here. And I want my sequence to start at 8. How do I get from 5 to 8? I've got to add 3. And to show why this is the case, if n is 1, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 equals 8. If n is 2, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. If n is 3, 5 3s are 15, plus 3 is 18. So the value of n lets us find the sequence's value for a given term. So if I want the 10th term, I would do 5 times 10 is 50, add 3 is 53. So again, this number is always the constant difference. And I go, right, I've got a 5 here. I want to start at 8. 5 plus 3 equals 8. And in the second one, it's minus 4. So rather than put a 5n, I put a minus 4n. And I'm right down at minus 4. And I want to start at 15. So how do you get from minus 4 up to 15? I've got to add on a whole 19. And to check that works, if n is 1, minus 4 times 1 is minus 4, plus 19 gets us back to 15. If n is 2, minus 4 times 2 is minus 8, minus 8 plus 19 gets me back to 11. So these nth terms actually generate these sequences.